all so excited to have you. Now, if you have your camp in the box, I want you all to grab it now. Go get it if you don't have it. And if you have any Christmas decorations that you want to be wearing right now, make sure you go run and grab it. All right, I am going to do Christmas trivia with our reindeers. So I'm going to have Miss Tia, can you come out? Now, we have our Christmas swords today. And you may not think that swords are for Christmas, but they can be. And how it's going to work is I am going to ask you three trivia questions, Tia. All right? Now, if she gets the trivia question right, she gets to whack me with the sword. But if I... No, no, but if she gets it wrong, I get to whack her with the sword. Does that make sense, Tia? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna have each of the staff come out and do the trivia questions with us. The one who gets the most trivia questions right will get to play our game later. All right, so this is for the big bucks, right? All right, Tia, who is the author of A Christmas Carol? Do, 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 um, do, do, do. Mr. Mm. Christmas. Carol. Mr. Christmas Carol. Unfortunately, that is wrong. His name is Charles Dickens. So, oh, I knew that. All right. Which popular Christmas beverage is also called milk punch? Eggnog. That is right. That means she gets swag. Ah! Ooh. All right. Since so she has one right, one wrong, this is the last one for you. Are you ready? What did the other reindeers not let Rudolph do because of his shiny nose? Play games. Play games, that's also right. Oh no. Ah! Oh! All right, Tia, that means you got two out of three right. So she is the one to beat. Head on out. We're going to have our next reindeer come on in. Tasia. Hello, reindeer Tasia. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I am good. Are you ready for this? Sure. Okay, remember, if you get it right, you get to whack me. If she gets it wrong, I get to whack her. All right, here's your first one. What word, what words follow Silent Night in the song? Oh, she got it right. Ah! Man, I think my reindeers are enjoying this game too much. All right, this is a little harder. In Home Alone, the movie, where did the McAllisters go on vacation when they left Kevin behind? Where'd they go? New York or Florida? Which one are you talking about? The first one. Florida? That's wrong. They actually went to Paris. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. All right, that means you're one and one. You can tie up Tia. What country did eggnog come from? What country did eggnog come from? I have no idea. Take a guess. <laughs> because he became alive. Came alive and what did he do? Do you remember? He played with all the boys and girls. It's close, but he began to dance around. Okay, well, I was right. I'll give you half a point. Ah, my ears fell off. That's a light tap. Oh, no. That's a light tap. Here, half a point. We each get to hit each other. One. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you have half a point. Which country started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Which country? Can you give me like a list of four? No, I didn't do that for anyone else. Um, uh, ooh, Christmas tree. I think it's either Germany or France. Gotta pick one. I'm gonna go with France. Oh, you were so close, it was Germany! <laughs> Be Tasia because you have half point. All right, are you ready? How do you say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Feliz Navidad. Yeah, you got one. Go for it. Ah! Whoa! So you are officially not lost. I'm sorry, uh, reindeer Tasia, 
you are last. Evan, you can. Finally, not no, last. Now I am gonna call our winner out. Tia, can you come back on here? I forgot to ask you about your socks. Can you please show the crowd your socks? Look at her elf socks and what is special about your socks? They're lucky. Oh. And I won. I, well, I didn't know that, but that's true. They, I was talking about the fact that they have bells on them, but they are now lucky socks. You heard it here first. Let's see if they're lucky when she tries to beat me in our snowball game. All right, thank you very much. You can head off. And we now have Miss Tasia. Can you come on out, Reindeer Tasia, now? You are the loser reindeer that I am very sad, but that doesn't mean you don't get to help us with our boxes. So, campers, I want you all to grab your Camp FBC box. Tasia, you can grab your box as well. And as you can see, we have a hat, a plate, your snacks, and your box. So I'm gonna have you take it all off. There you go. And so you're gonna sit, you can have one snack per day. And the hat is actually going to be for the birthday party that is on Thursday, so get excited for that. Now, I want everyone to take your boxes and you're gonna open it up. On your mark, get set, go! Open up your box, go, 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 go! Speed, 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 go, 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 go! There you go, and you have your Camp FBC box and can you open it up and show us the first thing in there? The red one? The red one, yes, that is very true. All right, so red is Monday's craft and you guys can open up your tissue paper now. Go ahead, open it up and save your ticket. Open it up, open it up. Do, 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 do. Oh, perfect. So you have a plate and some paper and some stuff in there and you're probably wondering what kind of craft this is and we are going to show it to you now. Can the tech guys show it now at some point? Good morning, CFBC campers. Are you excited for today? No, oh, I hope they are. I hope they are. Now, do you know what day it is today? I do. It's Christmas. It is Christmas in July, and I love Christmas. So I am so excited, and we have a special craft for you. Now, do we want to show them what package we have? Sure, let's do that. So this is the package. So we're going to be opening the red package, and in it, you're going to see quite a few odd items. You have your paper, you have a paper plate, you have this little thingy-majigger. Thingy-majigger. You have an orange piece of paper and a black piece of paper. Yep, and a template. And a template, and you also have some googly eyes, which aren't letting me pick up just like that. Now, what are we gonna do with this? We are making a snowman. We are, and it's a snowman counter. So, this white piece of paper is your template. Do you want me to start cutting this out? You start cutting okay. it out. So it has a hat on it. It has, let's see, seven little circles and a triangle. Now what those are gonna make are the seven circles are going to be the snowman's oh. eyes and his mouth. And you're gonna cut those out on half of the black paper. So this is really important. You have a full sheet of black paper. I want you to fold the paper in half and on half of it you're just gonna do the circles and then the other half you're going to save for the hat that looks just like this. Wait, let me see here. Perfect. So you're gonna cut that and trace this on the black paper, yep. right? And then cut it out in the black and then you're gonna get the hat. The hat. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the circles or you can just freehand it to see if you can yep. make circles on your own but if you need a template, it's there. And the nose. And the orange. The, the nose goes on the orange piece. All right, and then how do they do the nose in the middle? Well, you have to pop a little tiny hole. You can use like the end of a pen or something sharp. Just punch it through yeah. your plate. Let me make sure. See, there's a hole. Tiny little hole. Punch it through the plate, put the nose in there, and then on the back side, you just take the little prongs and bend them back. Yeah. Now we should mention too what side of the plate they have to use. Yeah. So you can use, you can technically use either side, either side will work, yeah. but we found it was better to use the, the plate that you would actually eat on this side, if that makes sense. Yeah. So you're gonna, how are they doing the numbers? Well, if you have a marker at home, like a Sharpie would work the best, but anything will work, and you start at number one, make sure you leave a spot for the hat, and go all the way to 25. There you go. And and what is this gonna be used for? Well, it's like a countdown to Christmas. So on December 1st, you take the nose, and you put it to number one, and now you know you gotta go all this way to 25 until it's Christmas Day. Yeah, but if it's like December 20th. Oh, you're getting so you close. The nose is all the way over there. Now, I know Christmas is a long way off, so you, you also wanna use it to count like special events that are happening 
in the summer, let's say you're going on vacation Ooh, in a couple of weeks, yep. you can count how many sleeps away you are. So if you're 20 sleeps away, you start it over here and go this way go until you're one Ooh. sleep away. So you can also use it right now to count how many days you got left. Can I mention something about the eyes? Of course you can. Now we did give googly eyes, but if you don't want to use the googly eyes, if you just take them off, it'll just look like, like that. Yeah, so, so it's kind of your choice. Kind of your choice. And if you want, you want to be really creative. If you have like colored markers or anything like that, you can also design the hat or add anything unique to your snowman yeah. that you want to. Awesome. Okay. Well, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone. Guys. And we hope you enjoyed your Christmas countdown. All right, well, you can see our beautiful Christmas counter. Now, Evan, I'm going to give you a privilege. Are you ready? Yeah. You get to name our snowman. What would okay. you like to name him? You well, can think about it. Do you want me to read the verse of the day while you think about it? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put our unnamed snowman right here. And I want to see all your guys' snowman too. Show it in the comment section below after you made it and tell us what exactly you did and if you made it creative or if you went just like ours. All right. Now I have our verse of the day and it's actually, Evan, all about Christmas. I know, did you know that the Bible talked about Christmas? It's exciting. So this one is in Luke 2. I'm gonna read verse number six. So they had Mary and Joseph just got to Bethlehem and this is what it says. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. Then she gave birth to her first son and she wrapped him tightly in a cloth and laid him in a manger because there's no guest room available for them. Did you know that when we celebrate Christmas, we're actually celebrating when Jesus was born as just a little baby. And his mom and dad put him in a manger because there was no more room in any of like the hotels or any of their friends' houses. And that's what Christmas is all about. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. So next time you see cool reindeer ears or a cool Christmas shirt like mine, make sure you remember that it's actually about when little baby Jesus came and was born as a baby. All right, so that's our verse of the day. And now it is time to do our ticket poll. Are you ready, Evan? I am. I have our Now, tickets. everyone grab your tickets out, your red tickets, and look at the numbers. Evan is going to tell us who the winner of the $5 gift card is. Here we go. I wonder who it is. Oh, I wonder. Oh, he has one. Oh, oh, he has one in his hand. Let's see what number it is. Oh, drum roll. Six. Eight, seven, nine, six, eight. Was that your number? Can you read it one more time really loud? Listen up. Six, eight, seven, nine, six, eight. Was that your number? If it was, you need to comment below that you won so that we can get you a $5 gift card. And that's exciting. All right, Evan, should we have a name for our snowman? I think I do. All right, what is it? Timote. All right, our, Evan, our snowman's name is Timote the Snowman, and he will have a place of honor. It, it's a, it's right a French variant of Timothy. Oh, perfect. All right, Evan, thank you for coming up. You may head on in. All right, it is now time for our game. Can I have the reindeer Tia come on out? All right, now, how are you, Tia? Good, how are you? Good. Are you ready to win? Do you think your lucky socks will work this time? Yeah. All right, here's what we got to do. So as you can see, we each have a bowl with cotton balls. There's a ping pong ball. There's a little bell. And there's some gum balls. Now, we also each have a straw and a red plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the red plate and we're going to put it on the corner. Then we're going to take our bowl and we're going to put it up by the snowman. How it works is we are trying to take our straw and suck up the cotton balls and everything else in here. Now Tia, I have to explain. The cotton balls are worth one point. However, the bell and the gum balls are worth two points and the ping pong ball is worth five points. All right, we are gonna have a minute. Can I have uh, Reindeer Evan give us a minute on the clock? Are you ready Tia? Now what's your strategy for this? Win. She's got her lucky socks. She's got her lucky socks. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Tia.
Mistletoeing oh and hearts will be glowing when really? loved ones are no. near. No. It's the no. most wonderful no. time no. of the year. No. No. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmas as long as we go. Absolutely. Now, Miss Eleanor, 
Yes. I hear that on Wednesday we had something going on. We have a drop in camp again on Wednesday, but it's going to be a little different. Do you know what time it's going to be, Miss Eleanor? I know it's in the morning, in but the I'm not morning. sure what time. It's going to be from 9 till 11. Ooh. So if you want to come and have some fun camp experience as a family, we're going to have stations set up on the field. And you can come anytime between 9 and 11 in the morning and come enjoy those. Now remember, if you do come, it's your job as a family to social distance um, and all that fun stuff. But we are excited to see you. And that's on this Wednesday, 9 to 11. Yep. So make sure you're talking to your parents about it. Yep. And what about tomorrow? Tomorrow? Do you guys want to hear what the holiday is? Should we tell them reindeers? Oh, yeah. yeah. They all nodded their reindeers in approval. We are going to be doing... Thanksgiving! So, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so get ready for that. Get in the Thanksgiving spirit, and we are going to see you tomorrow. Now, reindeers, can you dance this song? This is one of my favorite points. It is, yeah. too. Here they come. Bye! <laughs> see you tomorrow!